Let's begin this project. Open up Android Studio and create a new Flutter project. My name Airbnb underscore clone and then set the description. Then the organization, here you can write your name, then check the Android iOS, click create. Now make sure that from here you select project, inside the lib we have main dot dot. Remove the uh, extra comments and then minimize the home page, my home page and my home page state. We will remove both of them and for now we will add a scaffold widget and in the body we using the text widget we will display a message hello world. Now let's connect our Flutter project with Firebase for the Android and iOS. So Google Firebase, go to console, create a new Firebase project. Write your project name, Airbnb clone. Click continue. Then uh, click on this gear icon, project settings. We will connect it for the Android and for the iOS. We will do it step by step. First of all, let's enable the authentication. So from the build, go to authentication and get started. Enable the email and password. Then from the build, go to Firestore database. Let's create that as well. Create database, standard, this one. And then click next. Click next. Start in production mode, continue, create. Go to the rules and make sure to allow read write. So set this to true. Publish. Then from the build, go to the storage. We will use storage for saving the images. Now for the storage, if you see upgrade project, go ahead, click on it and create your billing account if you have not yet created. And once you create it, you will see your already existing billing account click on it and then here you can set your budget let's say I will just say one dollar it will not charge you any amount okay so for a small use it is hundred percent free and then let's click on get started create start in production mode Go to rules and make sure to allow the read write. So authentication, Firestore database and storage we will use. So go to the pubspec.yml, let's add the dependencies for it, Firebase core. After it we will use for the auth, Firestore and storage. Then click on pubcat, it has been installed. And now uh, let's go to the project settings and let's connect it for the Android first. So click on Android icon and go to Android app build.gradle and inside default config we have application ID. So copy this application ID and we will simply paste it here. We will give it name as Android app. Download the Google services.json file copy it and then paste it inside the app folder then uh, next and uh, we have to copy this line and we have to add it inside the settings dot gradle file inside the plugins paste it here like this then copy this line and we have to add it inside the app build.gradle file so go to the app level build.gradle file and simply paste it here inside the plugins make sure that you set the minimum SDK to 24 
And once you do this, now we can uh, simply test our application. But first, using the Firebase Core, we have to initialize the Firebase in our project in order to use the Firebase services. So we say wet Firebase dot initialize app, which belongs to Fire uh, Firebase Core dependency, which we added in the pubspec YAML file. So let's open up the Android emulator and install the app on our Android emulator. So we have successfully connected our Flutter project for the Android with Firebase. Now let's do it for the iOS. So next continue to console. So go to project settings from the gear icon. You can come here, click on add app, iOS and then your application ID you have to paste here. So we have to open this iOS module in the Xcode. So go ahead and open Xcode. Open existing project, Airbnb, iOS module, open. Now in here, uh, click on runner and in here we have you can see general sign-in and capabilities make sure that you check this automatically signing okay and choose your team and from the general uh, you basically have to allow the devices for which you will upload let's say this app so I want it for the iPhone and iPad so I remove the other two and copy your bundle identifier from here from the sign-in capabilities and simply paste it here register app then download the Google Services info.plist file. In case of iOS, first you have to quit the Xcode, close Xcode, and we have to move our Google Services info.plist file to our project. So inside the Airbnb clone project, we will move this here, like this. And then this file we have to drag and drop in the Xcode below the runner. So open up Xcode, the iOS module of our project, and you need to simply drag and drop this Google Services Info.plist file below the runner like this. Make sure to check these finish. Now uh, go to your Android Studio and go to port file and remove the comment from platform iOS and set the minimum iOS version 16. So 16 and above, iOS versions is allowed in order to use this app. Quit the Xcode and now inside the Android Studio, write CD iOS. Inside the iOS directory, we have to run the command pod init and then pod install. So it is going to uh, install the uh, packages for the iOS. Once it is installed successfully, then open up Xcode and we are going to test the application. From here, you can select the iPhone on which iPhone you want to test. I choose iPhone 17 Pro Max. Click on the play button. As you can see, it is now installing on my iPhone 17 Pro Max. So wait for it. It has been installed. And let's wait for the launch of the iOS. So here we go. We have successfully connected our Flutter project for the iOS with Firebase.